Every year, lots of people with lung condition catch flu. And for some people, this can be bad news. You might find that flu causes your lung symptoms to flare up or that it triggers an asthma attack. It's important to protect yourself so you don't end up being seriously ill or needing to go to hospital. An easy way to help protect yourself from flu is by getting your flu vaccine. And for most people with lung conditions, the flu vaccine is free. If you're not sure whether you're eligible for a free flu vaccine, speak to your GP practice or pharmacist. Most people get the flu vaccine without any problems. However, I find that some people have a few worries beforehand. Asthma and Lung UK carried out a survey and these are the most frequently asked questions from people with lung condition about the flu vaccine. Flu vaccine help protect you against the main types of flu viruses around each year. But even if you get your flu jab, there's still a chance you might get flu. If you do catch the flu after getting vaccinated, it probably won't be as bad or as long. You're also less likely to pass the flu on to others. The flu vaccine does not stop people getting other viruses like colds or COVID. It's important to get your flu jab every year. This is because flu vaccine help protect against the main types of flu viruses around each year. The type of flu virus that spread each winter is different. So the vaccine you offered also changes every year. This gives you and others around you the best protection. It's best to get the vaccine in autumn or early winter before the flu starts to spread. It can take 10 to 14 days for the flu vaccine to work. So try to get your vaccine as soon as possible once they're available. However, flu season is long and the vaccine is available until the end of March. It's never too late to protect yourself. The main ingredient of any vaccine is a small amount of bacteria, viruses or toxins that's been weakened or destroyed in the laboratory first. This means it's safe and there is no risk of healthy people catching a disease from the vaccine. Vaccines sometimes contain other ingredients that makes the vaccine safe and more effective. These can include pork gelatin and egg protein. There is no evidence that any of these ingredients cause harm when used in such small amounts. Creating the right flu vaccine for each country each year is a global effort. There are national influenza centers in over 114 countries that receive and test thousands of flu virus samples from patients all year round. In February, the World Health Organization makes recommendation on what flu vaccine should be made available for the upcoming winter in the Northern Hemisphere. This includes the UK.
it's safe to have the flu vaccine alongside other winter vaccines like the COVID-19 autumn booster vaccine and the pneumonia vaccine. In fact, you might be offered them at the same time. People often worry about the side effects of vaccines, but the flu vaccine is safe for people with lung conditions. It will not make your symptoms worse. There are several types of injected flu vaccine. None of them contain the live virus, so they cannot give you flu. The nasal spray flu vaccine, which is usually given to children, contains small amount of weakened flu viruses, but it does not cause flu in children. People often get worried about feeling ill after getting their flu vaccine. Some people do have a mild side effects like a sore arm, a slightly raised temperature or achy muscles. If you do have any side effects, they should only last for a day or so. You can ask your pharmacist for advice about how to manage any side effects. Hopefully you find this video useful. If you want to know more about the flu vaccine, visit Asthma and Lung UK's website or give our helpline a call. Thank you.